Hi, and welcome to the Leviton Answer Series, where we address your most frequently asked questions. My name is Joe, and today we'll be talking about line load reversal when installing GFCI receptacles. Let's start with a brief explanation on what a line and load cable are by taking a look at a typical wall box. If there's only one cable entering the electrical wall box, it's the line cable. The line cable delivers power from the circuit breaker panel or fuse panel to the GFCI. This cable should be connected to the GFCI's line terminals only. On the back of the device, you'll see markings indicating the line connections. One is the hot side with a brass screw. The other is the neutral with a white or silver screw. The line's hot wire, which is usually black, must be connected to the brass terminal screw. And the line's neutral wire, usually white, must be connected to the white or silver colored terminal screw. The load cable delivers power from the GFCI to another receptacle downstream in the circuit. The load terminals are under the yellow sticker on Leventon GFCIs. This cable should be connected to the GFCI's load terminals only. The load's hot must be connected to the brass terminal screw, and the load's neutral must be connected to the terminal marked white with the silver colored terminal screw. Now, a common error made during the installation process is line load reversal. In other words, the line and load cables are connected to the wrong terminals. This will affect the protection provided, creating an unsafe condition. Should this happen, Leviton SmartLock Pro GFCIs, through a special patented reset lockout feature for added safety, will deny power to the receptacle face and any receptacles downstream from the GFCI. The dual function indicator light on the face of the device will give you a simple, easy to read diagnosis of your outlet's condition. In the line load reversal lockout condition, the indicator light on the face of the Leviton GFCI will be a solid green. However, the device cannot be reset by pushing the reset button. This indicates that the line and load wires are reversed, and no power is available to either the GFCI receptacle face or downstream receptacles. The good news is, it's an easy fix. Just rewire the device correctly, and you'll be good to go. The indicator light can also tell if your GFCI is tripped or experiencing a problem. A solid or blinking red light indicates your GFCI needs attention. Try pressing the test button and then reset button to reset the GFCI. If the device resets, you're good to go. If the GFCI will not reset or the solid or blinking red light continues, the device must be replaced. If the indicator on the face of the GFCI is not lit, the device is in the trip state. Try pressing the reset button. If the device will not reset, there may not be power present on the circuit. You should check your panel and reset the circuit breaker if needed. So when installing GFCIs or any device, please refer to the instruction sheet that comes with it. The GFCI installation instructions and diagrams will clearly indicate the line and load terminals to help avoid mix-ups. You can also visit Leviton.com to view a step-by-step -step GFCI installation video. Until next time, I'm Joe with the Leviton Answer Series.